mother lives with us, and of course she's very wise, you know. So it's a lot of things, but it's a lot of things. A lot of dynamics there. So you talk about your family in the movie. Is politics big in your house, personally? Yes and no. Um, we definitely, you know, discuss politics and, um, but no, it's not hugely big because, you know, I believe what I believe, I'm going to do what I do, and I'm not really worried about nobody else. That's how I am. So I don't really have to hear a lot of the rhetoric from other people. Like, this is my least favorite time of year. I hate the elections because I hate all the commercials. I hate the, the oversaturation of the negative commercials. And I basically, and I have voted every election since I was 18. President Carter is the first president that I helped elect. And in each election, no matter what was going on, I had my definition of who I believe and what I wanted. And that's what I do. So I really, at, at some point, I don't really even need to hear the opposing side because I really don't care. And I don't care if you agree with me. And I was on Twitter with somebody today. It's like, guess what? Untweet me. I don't give up yet. You know, you do you boo, I do me. Do untweet, how about that? I don't even know who you are, untweet me. You know, because it's like, I'm going to do me. And I don't have to prove to you why I'm doing me. So, you know, and my husband and I just read some of the things about Obama. And he's a black, you know, Democrat, but uh, he's a physician. Uh, he's a physician. So, so, you know, there's some things that he's kind of like, eh, but he still supports him and he's still vocal. And so, what was the set like with Cab Williams on the set? Was it like just chaos? Y'all laughing all the time? Did you get <laughs> Well, I only shot, uh, I think, what, you know, when you do a movie, everybody does it. You don't shoot all the time. Yeah. So I was on set with him, you know, maybe one take, but he was a very nice fan to me, and he's very funny. He's very funny. That's all I can say. I, I think we can't wait to see him in this movie. Um, so you, I think the, the last TV series you were in was Hawthorne. Loved you in that. You guys loved her in Hawthorne. And anything on the horizon in terms of another TV series? Well, I have two other independent films that um, just at the National, at the uh, American Black Film Festival uh, in um, Miami just a couple weeks ago. One is called The Last Fall, which was written and directed by, there's a lot of young, talented um, uh, writers out there, directors, and this uh, film was written and produced and directed by a young man by the name of Matthew Cherry. I play Lance Gross's mother, and it's really a good story. The men are like it's a football story. It's really basically talks basically talks about how you know you think that everybody is paid because they get on the team, and really these guys it's not true. These guys live on the paycheck to paycheck. So this is one young man's story about that. So I play his mother in that, and we just got a distribution for that movie. And then I'm in another movie called The Under Shepherd, which was once again written and directed and produced. Everybody's kind of doing it. Young people, everybody's doing it all by um, a big DJ in the, in the D.C. area, Russ Parr. Um, yeah, Russ. Yeah, Russ has done a lot of movies. He's really big. He's a great guy. I love Russ Parr. And uh, Isaiah Washington, Lamar Rucker, um, yeah, Louis Gossett, um, Bill Cobbs. I mean, it's like a, a Linda Williams, Robin Lee. It's like a huge cast. Very, very good cast. And that, you know, Looks like we're waiting here about the distribution for that. And then, I don't know if you shame the fans, I play uh, uh, Shadola Hampton's mother, Victoria's uh, Veronica, Veronica's character. I play her mother, I'm shameless, so I'm going back to do some episodes this summer and a couple of weeks for shame, so, yeah. And then, have you thought about or either going to do more of like producing, writing, or putting your hand in any other pots? Well, yes. Well, I, I produce plays in LA, and I'm, I'm always in theater. I've been in theater since I was a little girl, so I do a lot of plays. But I did a show um, that aired on TV One about four, about five years ago called In the Company of Friends. Let's go out play. Um, my passion is cooking. I'm a gourmet cook and entertaining, and I'm getting ready to take that into episodes. So, yeah. So yeah, I did. Yeah, that's kind of like my passion. People don't know that about me, but. I'm a, I'm a, yeah, I, I, I do. I do my own catering from party, so I'm a party planner. I, I cook. I, I do it all. So, and I did a show based on that, and it aired on TV One as a special. So I'm gonna take that and I'm gonna try to do something with that for the last five years. <laughs> it takes a little time, but I'm getting there. <laughs> I'll get there. Oh, but yeah. Any last words about 
about the Obama effect? What, what do you want people to see tonight or, or feel tonight or leave with tonight after they leave the theater and see the movie? Yeah, well, I think everyone should just see the movie and, you know, you do you. You know, I, I hope that everyone enjoys it. And I, like I said, I hope it rekindles a, a flame and fire and, and lets people reconnect and understand that we all have an opportunity to vote. Don't sit back and get complacent, people, you know. And uh, I hope that everybody realizes, like I said, this is a soft opening in October. I want to see everybody out, not only supporting the movie, but supporting our president. Thank you so much. It's such a pleasure talking to you. It's Ms. Vanessa Bell Calloway here at the AMC Theater River East for the screening of the Obama Effect. I'm Randy Knight with Soul 106.3. <laughs> Wait, the camera girl. Uh -huh. Are you voting for Obama? Obama 2012. Obama 2012. In 2016, if we could. All right, man. <laughs> Hey. Y'all vote for Obama? Of course. Obama yeah. all day. <laughs> <laughs>